We're now on the MK Sports Car stand and with Neil, who's going to help us walk around and find out all about what they've got going on. So, thank you, Neil. Well, it's been a manic day today. It's day one. It's coming to, what, we're three o'clock on day one. So it's been absolutely manic today. The stand has been completely mobbed out. Um, we'll run around the cars and show you okay. what we've got here. So, first of all, first up, this is a chassis from an RX-5. This is our Mazda MX-5 based car. Um, you take, basically, you take a, a, a Mark II Mazda MX-5, take all the running gear off the MX-5 and transplant all the good bits that have not dissolved in your driveway <laughs> into this car or into this chassis. And then you end up with one of the RX-5 builds. Um, prices on these, the deluxe kit, the deluxe kit is a sum of parts and it's all the bits and pieces that you're going to need to put together. Um, starts from 10K, just under 10K. So you could build one of these in your garage that looks like one of those. And so what for your 10K, you obviously get more than the chassis. What you are get, the other? You, yeah, you get the chassis, the wishbones, the suspension, the bodywork. Um, oh, goodness. The seats, the interior, steering wheel. Basically, so, a Mazda donor car, all the parts off the Mazda. Okay. Plus the deluxe kit equals a car. So you haven't got to go finding all the extra bits that normally no, you, have to, like you, seats. And no, all of that lot that is all included. And that's why we sort of packaged it as a, as a deluxe kit. Oh, that, that sounds absolutely brilliant. And that ends up as one of these? One of these. So we'll move to the grey car quickly. Sorry, Jason, you're going to need to jump through a whole bunch of people now. So this is our uh, RX-5, uh, the finished article here. Um, this is a, a customer-built car. I'll just repair that while I'm here. Um, <laughs> this is a customer-built car that we've got. Um, it, it's a it's your standard mx5 engine gearbox um prop shaft differential drivetrain four corners steering column i mean if you look inside the car you'll see that this looks like a, a mazda mx5 so this is all out of the mark yep. 2 mazda that's out the mark 2 mazda the handbrakes out the mark 2 mazda um all the wiring is out the mark 2 mazda the we even use the mark 2 mazda fuel pump and the fuel filter so ECU, you all that it, kind of it's a yep. it's a mark 2 mazda just in a, a prettier uh, uh, clothes. I would definitely agree with that. Yeah. But literally, it's that deluxe kit we yep. saw there, plus the Mazda yep. MX-5, right. and you've got one of these. Yeah, this customer went for a couple of options, so he's got the internal roll cage on this car. Um, we do different options. Maybe that's, that's uh, what is quite attractive about our product, is that there are so many different options that we do. We can do um, different front colours, uh, coloured fenders. We can do carbon fenders. We can do carbon aero screens. We can do windscreens. We can do doors. We can do uh, rollover bars. We can do roll cages, internal and external, sidebars without. The list goes on and on and on. It's completely bespoke for every individual. Complete mix and match. Yeah. Customer yeah. tells you what they want. <clears throat> you can come up with it. Exactly. That's okay. exactly right. Now, if you don't like in the, in the Mazda, if you're looking at the Mazda car and you think, well, this is a standard 140 horsepower. Um, if you're looking at that, there is an upgrade path that you can do later on, which is going forced induction. So this is this is showcasing the 250 car that we okay. do. So we do a bolt-on turbo upgrade for the car. Um, it's an ECU card. It's uh, the turbo, the exhaust system and everything. And it comes out of the same hole in the side. So literally, it's a weekend's job to do the upgrade to give you 250 horsepower. But if you don't want to go forced induction okay. and you want to go naturally aspirated, you move over to this side. So this is your Honda Civic Type R engine. It's a out of the box, 230 horsepower. Okay. Um, we do an adapter plate that bolts to the Mazda gearbox. So from gearbox back, this is exactly the same as the grey car. Okay, so it's literally just the engine is the Just the engine and gearbox, um, sorry, engine and adapter plate. We do an, a custom flywheel as well. It's literally that. It's got a different ECU in it and it's got a different <clears throat> um, wiring harness for the uh, for the engine but other than that yeah mechanically it is just the engine that swapped over and gearbox wise because they did a, a six speed as well as a five yeah, speed so this has got this has got the six speed in it because okay. the six speed can take a little bit more abuse than the, the five speed um but yeah we so we do the uh, the, the six speed gearbox actually in this car i would recommend if you're building one of these put the six speed gearbox in it because it can take a bit more now there's a little bit of spice coming we've got a partner that's able to put cams in these engines for us so coming soon this is hot off the press Go on. coming soon a standard 230 horsepower yep. in the pub with the cams 280 horsepower 
Just cams, 50 horsepower. Apparently so, apparently so. That's pretty so good. So it's uh, to be confirmed, but it's, uh, yeah, it's certainly coming. It's, uh, with, with all of these cars, we, we've talked about South Wheels um, so far. If somebody wants you to build the car, you, you're, you yeah, can do can, that as well. Yeah, we can build it for you, yeah. yeah. If you want a built, built car as well, we can build the car. To be quite honest with you, it's a bit like buying a suit. So we can tailor it, whatever you want to do, we can tailor for you. Whilst I might not have a price list on exactly what you're offering, the answer is going to be, yeah, we can do it for you. So it's, it's pretty pretty straightforward, yeah. That's brilliant. Now, if you don't want to go car engine, oh. we've got an alternative. This is the where we are in the, in the marketplace. We're quite unique. We do the bike engine. So this is the Sport 200 car, 200 horsepower. Okay. Um, this is a Suzuki Hayabusa engine. It's got our own uh, billet uprights on the front. This is running um, 200 horsepower. Suzuki stock engine. Um, this particular model has got an aftermarket ECU on it, um, which, is, which is the life racing ECU, which basically, if you're going on the track, it will uh, monitor everything for you and it will keep your engine in one piece. If it detects any oil pressure loss, then it will cut the engine out for you and, and so on and so forth. Um, we've partnered with RLM, so they are our um, motorsport arm, RLM Racing, that we've got the billet sump that we do. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a billet sump on there, um, wet sump system, so you no longer have to have your dry sump can, which is traditionally, that yep. was the, way, the only way you could put a booster engine in these cars. So we've got a chassis, that is specific to the high booster engine. Um, it's also used in the Cup series as well, the Cup racing series. That was what I was gonna say, because you use this sort of really for racing, but now this is a road version as well. Yeah, we do a road version that's not, the road version isn't eligible for the race series. Okay. It's only the race version that, that is eligible to go in it, because it's a single make. With this, you can mix and match bits and pieces. With the single make race series, you're basically just buying the one car and that's it. And they're the only ones that can compete. Uh, and engine wise, the Hayabusa is obviously a bike that's been with us for a good 25 years. Yeah. What, what era of, of engine is that? So this is the Gen 2. Um, that's from a 2008 to, oh, uh, I'm going to say 15, yeah, 16. So I was, yeah, I was going to say um, uh, 16 it's, uh, in my yeah, head. Yeah, 2008 onwards. Yeah. Um, it will also work with the Gen 3. That's not a problem. So, so uh, yeah, new ones that are coming out now will be Gen 3s. So we were able to accommodate that. But they're a lot more available now than when they, you know, 20 years ago when bike engines first come out. Oh, yeah. They, the prices and were astronomical. But the, There's been a whole lot of development work done on these engines. So this is why we're kind of with the, in the higher booster camp. Um, there are other engines out there like the Kawasaki's and things like that. And not as much development has gone into them as what has gone into this particular engine. So we're sticking with this. It's got bags of torque in it. Works perfectly in the car. It's a six-speed sequential gearbox. Um, what's not to like? I can't think of many things yeah, off no, the top it's a, of my head. It's a, it's a terrific little car. We have got a car for sale as well, which has got a booster engine in it. Um, that's the one on the uh, the white one with the purple stripe on it. Um, that's up for sale. So if you're looking for a, a car, I don't imagine it's going to be around for very long because we've had a lot of interest in it today. So uh, yeah, if we're not taking it home, this weekend, then that'll be that'll be good. But it's brand new, registered, fully IVA'd, road legal. Yeah, so turn the key and off you go. Yeah, pretty much. Drive it home, take it away, so I don't have to load it in the van. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we also bought unique, with us. Yeah. yeah, so we also bought with us a um, load of parts. Uh, we've got a, a full range of parts that people can buy here. Some of the feedback we had last year was that um, people were coming and saying, "Oh, I want to buy this, I want to buy that," and yeah. we didn't bring it with us. So. Uh, we bought a full gamut of bits and pieces. I guarantee there's bits and pieces that are on here that people don't want. There's bits and pieces that people do want. We haven't bought with us. So um, so if, you, if there is stuff here that you want, then you can order it online. Just go to our website, www.kitcardirect.co.uk or mksportscars.com, and it'll be on there. No, it's brilliant. No, it's great to see people bringing parts back because that's the one area of this show that's really died off over the years, isn't there's it? There's not an over amount. I don't think there's any other... I've had a quick look round, and there's not many manufacturers who have bought parts with them. So, I no. don't know. That, there, it's a lot easier to set up without the parts. It took us hours to set this lot up yesterday, so. But brilliant. Really interesting. Hope that's been good for people at home. Thank you so much, Neil. Good job. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Take care.